Okay, in this second part of the video, we're going to be looking at how to um, uh, select a film using a combo box, which I've already created, and then displaying information about the film down here underneath it. Okay, so I created this combo box in the same way I did the last one. Uh, this time I did no extra customization, I just simply created it. I have already named it, which is really important for this part, and I've called it uh, Film Select. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to create what's called a subform. Now this is a little bit more complicated than we've done before, um, so I'll take uh, you slowly through it. Essentially, because I want to um, put values underneath here from um, based on selection, um, I need to do a query. I need to run this query each time I change it. Okay, so it's a little bit more complicated. Um, so anyway, let's get started. The first step you need to do is to create a new query. Okay, so I'm going to create a query in Design View. And this is obviously going to be from the film table, so add it. And I'm going to add um, all of the information from it, okay? Because this is all the information I want to, want to display. So I run that, you can see there's all the films, so brilliant. Now, I only want to display the information from one film, okay? And that's the film I've selected here. To do this, I need to link the query to my form. So this is important, this step here, as long as you know the name of this and you've saved your form already, you must have saved your form because this will not work if you haven't saved it. Okay, so I'm going to put this into form view, okay, um, and it's right there ready for me to use, okay. It needs to be in form view so we can test the query. Okay, so I'm going to just select a random film, out and beyond, why not. Um, and I'm going to go back to my query. So, so far, what have I done? I've put my combo box in. I've named it, I've saved my form, I've got my form in form view and I've selected one fill, okay? Next, underneath film ID, I need to basically tell it to pull out what I've selected here. And to do that, I need to use a special um, structure. I put a square bracket in and type in the word forms, okay? Close square bracket, okay? What this tells access is that I want to access the forms. So um, I've got, I may have many forms in my database and I want to select one of them. Exclamation mark. And as you can see, it's now giving me a selection of forms that I've created. So I'm gonna choose review. I put exclamation mark in again. And it's got all of the contents of my form. And I obviously want the film select. Let's make this a bit bigger so we can see it. So what have I done? Okay, I've selected the form. I've, uh, I've asked it to select the, all the forms, then select the review form, and then finally select the film select. I'm then gonna run this query. What should happen, if I've done it correctly, is only one has been displayed. So I'm gonna go back to design view again, and I'm gonna choose a, sep a second film, never, uh, never ever tell, and then I run the query again, as you can see, it's given me different information. So, what have I done? I've created a query which has been linked up to my form. Okay, so it, so it will only pull out information based on what I've selected here, which is exactly what we want. So I'm gonna save this, I'm gonna give it a sensible name, so I'm gonna call this um, Film Select Query. And I'm gonna close it out, okay, because I don't need it anymore. Next thing I need to do is I need to get the information in here. Now there are many ways of doing this. The way I'm going to show you today is called uh, using subforms, and for me this is the easiest way to do it. Okay, so I'm going to go to create, and I'm going to create a new form, and I'm going to select that query that I've just created. I'm going to add in the title, genre, and film month because that's all I want to see. I'm not interested in the film ID. And I'll just click on finish. And this creates me a very basic looking form, okay? It's got all the information that I need, okay? So we need to combine these two together. Now I'm gonna tidy things up because we don't want it to look like I've, I've done a subform. So I'm gonna delete the header. I'm gonna get rid of it completely. Um, and I'm gonna to go to, so I'll go to format and I go down to record selectors. I'm gonna click on no. Navigation buttons, I'm going to click on that. What this will do, if I run it, I'll go to Form View, you see all the 
bits at the bottom disappeared, okay? Um, you don't have to do that step, um, you know, um, but it will make your form a bit tidier if you did. Okay, so, I'm going to save that and close it. The next step, these are quite a few steps in this, I'm afraid, and the next step is to actually put it into here. So I'm going to make this form a bit bigger, so I've got space to put it in, and I'm going to choose subform. Okay, subform is in this list here, and it's this one here. So I click on that tool here, and I drag out where I want the subform. Bear in mind this subform will be uh, fairly big, so I'm going to uh, create a nice big uh, space for it. I'm going to use an existing form, and I'm going to use that form I've just created. Film Select Query. Click on Next. Okay, and then I just simply click on Finish. We can ignore um, that information. Okay, I can then. I'm going to delete this bit text here because I don't want it. Um, like so. And then I'm going to go to Design View. You can see straight away I've got the information. Now, the problem with this is you can see here I've changed it and it's not changing. So, so far, what have I done? I've created my query. I've linked this to this um, Dropbox. So it was working. We saw that. Sorry, the combo box. We saw it working. I created another form and saw the information coming through. I then created a subform and put it in there. The last step is to get it to change when I change this. Okay, so let's see how to do this. I'm going to click on the subform and I'm going to name it. Okay, it's called Film Select Query, so I'm actually going to stick with that to be honest. I'm happy with that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my combo box. I'm going to go to Event, okay, and I'm going to go On Change. The On Change event basically will run every time that combo box changes, i.e., every time someone selects something. So I'm going to go On Change, I'm going to go to the Macro Builder, and then I'm going to scroll all the way down and I'm going to choose requery. So what requery does is it will run a query, a search, again. And the search that we've done already, that one which will uh, find a single film, the information for a single film, we've already created that query, we want that query to run again. And that's what exactly what requery does. So we say requery and then we say the subform, okay? So the subform will run the query again. Okay, so put the name of the subform in, press save, click on close, and now we can test it. So before when I changed um, this comment box, the uh, subform didn't change, but now because of the requery, you can see it updates the information inside it. And that, quite simply, is how you display information based on a comment box changing.